with the new Halo TV show releasing in just over 24 hours right now. I want to give you guys everything you need to know around the Halo TV show before it airs for the first time tomorrow. The first show will broadcast on Paramount Plus or Sky if you're from the UK and it will be available on Paramount Plus from around 3am ET or 12am Pacific time which in the UK is around 7am in the morning. Rest in peace, my sleep schedule. The sad thing is, though, that if you're actually based in the UK like me, then you won't be able to watch it straight away. Unless you're using a VPN on Paramount+, Plus, you may find it difficult. So, yeah, activate that VPN, guys, and watch away. Now, another really cool thing about this as well, that if you actually own Game Pass, you can get free three-month Paramount Plus subscription, and that's courtesy of Game Pass. You don't have to pay anything. It's just on the Game Pass rewards page. You can go onto there, and you can redeem it uh, tonight if you really wanted to. However, just to reiterate, US users are fine to do this. You can activate it and watch it as normal, but European users are not going to have access to watching this just yet because it's not going to be out in Europe. Why that's the case, I don't know, but it's just how things work, unfortunately. But as I mentioned, the way around that is activate the VPN and go watch it through that. That's how most of the people will be doing it, and it's the best way to do it. Okay, now moving on to more information around the show itself. The show will be based in a silver timeline, which you really need to remember and take into account when watching it, meaning that this TV series will have absolutely no correlation to any of the games that have ever come out. That is a completely separate universe to what we're going to be watching on the new Halo TV show. The director and the teams have done this because they wanted to try and make the Halo TV show their own thing whilst still having the element of Halo in there. Essentially, they're trying to make it appeal more to the general public, which aren't necessarily familiar with the lore of Halo, and they just wanted to make it more of a TV show. So this is the reason why they've separated it from the current lore, and it's not evolving or interacting with anything that's already went on. I mean, they can do whatever they want to, really. In fact, to push this even further, the director of the show has said in a statement that they didn't even look at the game at all. Like... At all. <laughs> Why would they not do that? <laughs> Although there are some hints and references in the show uh, to the game and obviously the lore in that game as well. Some of the very OG voice lines and things from Cortana and stuff will sound very familiar and will pull at your heartstrings a little bit, which I'm sure you will love throughout the TV show. And the director works very closely with 343 Industries when making the series. So I'm sure that we will appreciate it in the way that it is made currently. Not to mention as well, they've already renewed it for a second season, so it must have some pretty good reviews. Now, from an overall story perspective, especially from looking at both of the trailers that have came out, it does look as though that the overall goal of the series is to try and find the Halo Ring and to stop the war with the Covenant. The Chief finds some form of artifact, which we can see in the trailer, and then from and then on, potentially that artifact will help them find the ring or the cartographer on the ring or something along those lines. Maybe it's the index from previous Halo games that we're used to, I don't know. Again, it's a silver timeline. It could be something completely separate to what we've ever seen before. We also get to see places like the rubble in the movies, which is really, really exciting, along with a brand new antagonist, which reminds me a lot of the Arbiter, and I'll tell you why in a moment. It actually turns out that this antagonist's father figure, <laughs> get this, is the Arbiter. What? <laughs> Again, I don't know how true this is, but I read this on a couple of forums ages ago when I did my initial breakdown of this TV show's trailer. But yeah, apparently this antagonist's father figure is the Arbiter or Thel Vadan because she was essentially adopted by the Covenant and grew up with them and Thel was the one that raised her in this silver timeline. So yeah, the Arbiter's not in it, but <laughs> his daughter essentially is. So that's really interesting. I think the TV show takes Halo 1 and Halo 2's story and mashes them into one big thing. Finding the Halo but having the Arbiter type character to battle against along the way and potentially towards the end or with Season 2, maybe this antagonist might befriend and work with the Chief again. I, I don't know, this is just speculation of course, but again, that's the way that it seems that it's going to go and it seems to mash those two games together. Now, I'm very optimistic. I mean... You've got to think also that this new character being so like the Arbiter, was it initially going to be the Arbiter, but they cut him from the show in order to save time with the CGI work and probably save a hell of a lot of money as well. I mean, maybe not, maybe I'm looking way too far into this, but just imagine the Arbiter in this TV show. Man, a fully CGI'd Arbiter would be so sick with the Halo 2 and Halo 3 art style. 
Anyway, we don't have a lot to go off right now. We have two trailers and some really cool images and teasers for the story, but I'm excited, man. I'm really looking forward to something new, something to take away from the current situation of Halo Infinite. This obviously isn't canon as such in the Halo universe, but it's good enough for me until the next book comes out or until we get the next piece of Halo Infinite lore. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below, guys. It'd be much appreciated if you could drop a like on the video as well to let me know if you are hyped. And uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Speak soon, guys, and take care.